All right, well, not how I intended to start off this video. I just had some issues with the camera where it said something about my SD card is fucked up, but I mean, at least I cleared up some space. What's up, guys? Um, This is a video I didn't expect to make at all anytime soon. It might catch a bunch of you guys off a surprise. It will call me as a surprise as well, but let me get into it and why and everything. So basically is, should I sell my Camaro? Um, I don't know, man. Like this... What to call it? At one point, this was my dream car, and I'm truly blessed enough to even have this car. But like, I don't know, man. It's just like I, I get a, I get inside this car, and I just obviously it's not the same power, and obviously it's not the same car. But like, I don't know. It kind of bothers me that it just reminds me too much of my SS, and I love that car. But maybe because of that car I was sticking this is auto, maybe that's why I don't find it as exciting no more. Um. What's it called? Um, my car is valued at a very good price right now. Like, if I were to sell it, like, right now would probably be the best time. The car has 23,000 miles. I got it with 8,000. I've put over 15K miles on this car, and I've had no issues. I love the car. It's a great car. Someone will enjoy this car, but, like, I don't know. Maybe, like, I don't know. Something about paying $1,000 a month and and waking up and seeing the same interior that I already saw before. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't sit right with me. Obviously, I'm not ungrateful, but, like, I don't know, I feel like you gotta stay hungry, like, that's how, that's how you keep leveling up, wanting more expensive shit makes you hustle more, makes you want to make more money, more money, more, more money, more problems, literally, man, but, uh, let me give you guys a couple reasons why I think I should sell the car. Reason number one, it's a Camaro, I already had a Camaro, I'm paying a thousand dollars for, like, basically the same car that I already had before, but just with a blower, and a lot more fucking fueling mods and just a whole lot of other shit and the 10 speed obviously i mean i was paying 800 for my ss so obviously 200 bucks ain't that much more for this badass car but like realistically like i don't know man if i'm paying a thousand bucks i want to see something that isn't a fucking camaro like i want to see a gtr i want to see a corvette like i want to see something man i want to see my money being worth like i want to obviously i'm not gonna lie man this car fucking breaks next like it doesn't look like a regular camaro but at the end of the day it's a camaro Look at that nice Z. Honestly, like, I, I know y'all might hate me, but, dude, I've been looking at Zs to buy, like, that's how, that's how, like, bored I am with this car. Obviously, like, racing, racing, racing is fun, and it's cool, but, like, I don't know, after, after the race with the white Camaro, like, I kind of, I kind of came to, like, a, like, a halt, like, damn, like, there's nothing more exciting for me to do with this car, like, that was, like, the main thing, but, I don't know, man, it's just, just a lot of things. Um, what are the reasons? Reason number two. I don't know, man. Like, no matter what you do to these Camaros, they're not going to keep up with, like, Whipple 10 R80s and fast-ass Corvettes. It's just a lot of weight. Um, the amount of money you have to drop into this car, obviously, honestly, I wouldn't get another Mustang right now just because, honestly, everybody in SoCal is getting one. Literally, if you don't have a Whipple Coyote in SoCal, you're not fast. And the, what's it called? The Whipple Coyotes that are racing, they're not getting any races, dude. Yeah, you're going to be slinging dick. Yeah, you have a fast car, but no one wants to race you. And I like racing for money. Obviously, having a Whipple Coyote would just be the swing, swing. What's it called? My balls around saying, "Oh yeah, I have a thousand horsepower," but there's no point of owning that car. I'm not gonna find a race. The only race that you can find with that car is other Whipple Coyotes, and literally, it just comes down to whoever gets the hit first and who's gonna win that race. So, reason number two. Reason number two. Oh no, 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 I want reason number three. Reason number three: the amount of money you have to dump into this car. Obviously, if I get a Corvette, it's gonna be the same amount of money that I'm, I mean, maybe even more money. But it's just the difference that I'm gonna be sitting in something else. And honestly, I've been looking at C7s a lot. Obviously, a C7 probably wouldn't do good for the channel, just because a lot of people can't relate to that. Most people have Camaros. This car will probably do good on the channel, but I don't know, man. My heart wants a Corvette. Like that's what I really, really, really want. Like that's that's the goal. Like if the car does sell, which they're actually gonna look at it tomorrow. Um, they're gonna look at it. They're not gonna buy it, but they're gonna look at it. Ah, fuck it. I'll tell you guys. I mean, not a lot of people watch my YouTube. The car's gonna sell for seventy-four thousand. I obviously don't owe that much on the car. I would go bought it for less. So another another reason why is because it's reason number four to sell the car. It's a fucking smart financial move. I'd be making like more than I gave no down on the car. I gave no down. I had put no money out of my ass. I haven't even made. I've only made two payments on the car because what's it called? Um. Just because my credit union allowed me to take a month off, so I said, fuck it. Um, I haven't dumped anything into this car. All the mods have been free except the, the upper pulley and the flex fuel sensor. So, basically, in this car, I've done two payments and the mods, it's been 
I would be tripling that money if I sold the car for 74 grand. And I could probably put that money towards another car. And also, I found I found a car. I'm not gonna say what car, but you can put two and two together. I found a car that's basically the same situation as this. I would buy it under value and keep it. And whenever I get bored, sell. I like buying cars by a party now. You won't ever catch me at a dealership ever again. Buying cars private party. If I, if I can recommend anything to my to my YouTube subscribers is one have a credit union to back you up Two, buy private party cars look on offer of facebook cars.com private sales anything don't go to a dealership dude you're gonna get fucked over on so many add-ons and so much bullshit that at the end of the day you're gonna end up like ten thousand dollars upside down right now with this car like i bought it for 65 grand and i'm able to sell it for 74 because i bought it on the market because i caught someone that was desperate to sell it so yeah man just be patient look out for the deals and you'll you'll come out with something <laughs> yeah well they're looking at the car right now the buyer so not to sell but just to get an appraisal damn we're back in the stock manual ss dude uh they're test driving my car right now actually pretty excited we're we're really not far off on the number so we'll see what's up they i said 74 they said they're just a little off so we'll see they just want to test drive the car god damn i haven't driven sticking so long i almost forgot almost stalled out that was funny all right i'll pick it up right now I just remember the thing I hated the most about my SS was the fucking skip gear future. Like it's literally the most annoying thing, the skip one through four. It's just so terrible. Damn, dude, I miss having a stick car though. Like this, this, this makes me very happy. Every time I drive a stick car, I always fucking geek out. It's just something about something about this fucking pedal right here, dude. I didn't get a step on it, but I mean, they like the car, so that's a good sign. We'll see what's up right now.